The saga of Carson XIII, the old champion considered clinically irrecoverable, continues. You remember him thin, with scars from the burning and the ultrasound of that tendon lesion that didn't want to heal. You then saw him taking part in his first competitions in December 2011. Today, a year later, how is he? He's totally recovered. You be the judge. Over the year, the host has taken part in many competitions, always performing well up to 1 meter 50. In February, he jumped at Follonica. This photo seems a photo montage. In this period, the horse is still not using his widers correctly. In March, he jumped in 1 meter 50 test event. In April, he took part in the Manerbio Young Rider CSIO. But in November, with my 20-year-old daughter Antonia, who this year has taken eight university exams, he competed in the Celia World Cup 1 m 60 competition with only one error. Here are Antonia and Carlson at Celia World Cup. 1 meter 60. Carlson seems to jump very easily, but you can see how high the jumps are by looking at the man standing nearby.
After two weeks, Carlson and Antonia reached the fourth place in the Italian Master Memorial della Chiesa, the most important Italian indoor event, with two months without errors, where the nearly 17 years old champion made fun of the heights by jumping with a fantastic technique. What's more, he did this barefoot. How could this ever happen? The horse now jumps better than when he was champion. In fact, he never jumped these heights before. The blood stem cells that I use in my treatment played a large role. Be aware that stem cells are not a therapeutic protocol in themselves, but are part of the protocol and the better the protocol, the better they function. In the scientific work of Dr. J. Kazashima, thoroughbred race horses that had been given bone marrow adult stem cells gave the same performances in competitions two years later as did untreated horses left to rest for the same, the same period, even though there was a histological improvement in the treated tendons. Without doubt, if you don't know what causes the lesion and is not resolved, it's normal that a treated tendon, even in the best possible way, will break more easily than a healthy one. Another work presented at the AAEP 2012 Congress by Dr. M. C. Schramm did not obtain good results. He provoked lesions in six horses' tendons and treated them with mesenchymal stem cells without having any improvement in the tendon tissue. A provoked lesion is never the same as that caused naturally and the problem with all stem cell studies is that they are not scientifically valid, therefore not objective because the cells are not qualified. Dr. Schramm injected cells having diverse receptors amongst themselves and therefore different from the mesenchymal stem cells of other studies. The inability to qualify what you are investigating makes adult stem cells experiments in human medicine unacceptable. In order to obtain a stem cell patent, it was fundamental to quantify and qualify the cells and our patent has been accepted in USA, Europe, Australia and South Africa, meaning that we succeeded in our intent. The Regenerative Medicine section at the AAEP 2012 Congress was deserted by veterinary practitioners because of the difficulty in using this therapy and the lack of concrete results. In fact, the most significant videos of clinical cases on YouTube are those of my staff. The cells must be used in a good therapeutic protocol. If a horse drinks polluted water, eats low-quality hay, 
is ridden against his balance, is given the wrong saddle, or is treated with palliative drugs full of side effects, the blood stem cells therapy will be insignificant. The saddle too is important in a good therapeutic protocol and the Gianetti saddle, Saronno Milan, is made of the best leather, inexpensive and enhances the horse's movements. Carlson was lucky to have a high-level management, helped by the stem cells that also cancelled the Cushing disease symptoms, long hair, polyuria, polydipsia and tiredness, but in order to function in tendon sclerosis, the therapeutic protocol require ozonotherapy to obtain the desired result. What does this therapy mean for the future of mankind? If a country doctor like Edward Jenner changed the face of medicine by thinking differently which led him to discover vaccines, why cannot a veterinary practitioner change the face of medicine again with an innovative theory? Antonia, who is not a professional rider, was full with this year by Giorgio Robiani, Michel Spass and now by Roberto Miraz. Thanks to my daughter Antonia who, with her talent and will, allowed me to demonstrate the efficacy of blood stem cells therapy on Carson and other horses.